welcome back everyone. I honestly don't know how many people are interested in this specific iOS 14 device, but I figured I might as well show you guys how it runs, at least on my second channel. And I did install iOS 14 on my iPhone SE 2020. And it's actually really weird because this is the first device that has the A13 chip that I updated. But regardless, it's still a great phone. It has the older design, which is totally okay. But I could not afford to break my iPhone 11 Pro, which is what I use on a main phone. So this is the next shot. And honestly, so far, iOS 14 has been a great update. I think it's been pretty stable across the board. I've had a little, you know, a couple of few hiccups here and there. But at the end of the day, do not install iOS 14, even as a beta, even on beta 2. I would wait until like beta 3 or the public beta when it comes out, then you can install it. It's just too buggy to even take the chance. And honestly, in my opinion, just wait for it. But iOS 14 has been pretty good on all my devices. Now, I did run a benchmark, which is pretty important. I might as well show you guys that right now. And as you can see, my single core score was 1,329. My multi-core score was 2,613. And that's a pretty good score, you know, pretty respectable in my opinion. Definitely not a solo phone at all. Here's the metal score that I got, which was 7,580. And I think it was a pretty good score, you know, not a slow phone like I just stated. It's been pretty fast, everything I threw at it, which is really cool. So performance-wise, it's still exactly the same, don't get me wrong. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you guys some of the main features, which you guys probably already know. The first one being the home screen widgets, which is amazing. I literally love these things, and I can't wait until my main device has it. So basically, what it allows you to do is, it's just like the regular widgets. It's just, we're just allowed to put them on our main screen now. So what we can do is we can grab our calendar widget, for example, Go and grab it and we go and take it onto the next page if we want to and then from there all we have to do is go and press the home button and you can see that widget is right there which is so awesome and we can do that again with literally all these other widgets grab the little panel right here grab it over and that's really pretty much the process it doesn't really take too much more effort other than that so that's one of the features it's not like the greatest thing in the world but i think honestly it's like cooler than not in my opinion and like i said that's the home widgets the next one which is probably even better than that is app library and the cool thing about this is that it's something that's on the side it doesn't necessarily take up it's not like and this is like all the way to the side it doesn't take up the whole entire screen unlike the home widgets and it's just one extra thing that apple just put in which is so cool and we're even allowed to put our apps into the app library and hide them from the rest of the screens which is so cool you also have list view if you swipe this down you can see all these other things right here too which is so awesome so at the end of the day that's a really really awesome one now another thing you guys probably already seen this a billion times is the series which is smaller i was about to say small siri but that's a you know a city a tweak and that's not necessarily apple's main thing and you can go and see if we hold this home button down that's still again like the same exact thing siri is much smaller i guess if i hold it down every single time no but you can see that siri does not take up the whole entire screen now we can't necessarily move around the screen when we're doing it but apparently they might bring that back based on what we heard so i can't wait for that and there were also a ton of other things too maps got an update carplay got an update and messages got a little bit of an update as well we now have picture in picture which is humongous that was one of the best things that i wanted to see but those are all the features that you guys probably already know but in terms of a stability standpoint on an iphone se 2020 i haven't had any issues battery life is about the same literally battery life has been about the same on all my devices that i tested which i think is a good thing i hate having an update and it ruins my battery life in this case it's not necessarily the case which is very important so that's just a quick little first look, I guess, of the iPhone SE 2020 running iOS 14. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, man.